What's going on guys, Ryan with Jetta Patrol, back with another video today. I have a ridiculously amazing customer service story for you. Let's get started. That's right guys, Ryan back with another video. Hope you guys are doing well. I am doing so much better. Thank you for asking those in the comment section. And uh, I've got a, a story to tell you guys and I thought we'd uh, today was just good enough day to do it uh, than any other. So a couple weeks back, actually it's been about three weeks ago, I did a live stream where I actually unboxed a Jazz Inc. Diorama Tantive 4 True Scale diorama piece like the tantive hallway fight scene between vader and and uh antilles and the whole thing from the new hope and um anyways while i was unboxing that thing i actually got it and let me preface this by saying i did not buy it directly from yost over at jazz Inc. dioramas i bought it from another collector who emailed me and said hey do you want this piece and i was like sure so i bought it got shipped it to me there we go anyways uh i decided to do a live stream we live streamed the whole thing i was sitting here building it i spent like an hour and a half or two hours building this thing because i was chatting with you guys and uh ended up with uh, a slight problem a slight problem in the in the sense that um these were the walls this is one of the, this is one of the walls i think it goes like this i don't remember exactly how it goes anyways this is one of the wall pieces like the sides of this hallway and then this was the uh uh, this was the piece that's supposed to go there and and, and as you can tell uh, they, they didn't really uh, they didn't really match so well so I actually got in this box that I bought from this other collector I got the Detoff version or the 112th scale version I think it's the 112th scale version um, uh, like inner wall curved wall this section right and then I got the true scale six inch um, or uh, six scale uh, walls. So these are, if you can see right here, there's like a little curved section right here. In which case, this was supposed to go here, uh, but it, it clearly does not. So after spending two hours uh, building this thing, uh, and only to realize that I could not actually use it, um, I, I messaged Yoast on uh, Facebook and I said, hey dude, um, you know, this is what's going on. I bought this from uh, another collector and uh, this is what happened. Let me tell you something. I, he absolutely could have said, hey, man, um, you know, uh, if you'd bought that directly from me, I could take care of this uh, and I, I'd fix it for you, all this kind of stuff. He had, I mean, just could have just said, hey, man, uh, hate that for you. Could have done that. He didn't do that. He didn't do that. Um, in spite of me purchasing it from a third party, I guess, if you will, another collector, um, and uh, me not actually buying it from him directly, uh, he messaged me, he goes, hey, listen, let me, let me know the parts that you need. So I'll send him photos, I'll send him this and that, whatever. Um, and he literally, the next day, shipped me a box of parts to fix my colossal mess up that I've got going on in the, in the room. Um, and I gotta tell you guys, uh, he, this is a sold out piece. Like it's, it's not even on sale on the website anymore. The, the big one, the one that I was supposed to get. It's sold out, it's been sold out for a while. The fact that he had one extra set, I got lucky, he told me I had one extra set of like spare parts and that he shipped those to me, let me put this away, at no charge. He boxed it up, shipped it to me, I think I had it in like two or three days, at no charge to me, shipped it over me. So Yoast, uh, I 100% did not expect that. I 100% am blown away by the level of customer service that he demonstrated on something that I didn't even buy from him. So that's, I, I just gotta tell you, before you even get into the unboxing, I had to tell you that story because it's absolutely crazy. Uh, now, if you know, I have got quite a few things coming from him. I got the Vulture. If you wanna check out that unboxing video, I'll put a link up there. I've got the uh, the Race Speeder, which is uh, should be coming out in like January or so. I'll put links for all this down below. Uh, Race Speeder from The Force Awakens. I've got the 66 Batmobile uh, coming as well. Uh, I have not yet, I, I have already placed an order on the uh, Falcon Cockpit. And I haven't yet, but I'm 99% sure I'm gonna go ahead and get the snow speeder um, for when uh, snow speeder Luke actually shows up from Hot Toys. So a lot of stuff going on uh, on that regard. And I like supporting people who take care of their customers and he absolutely has done that. So what I'm gonna do today, I don't know exactly how it's gonna work. Uh, I have the box that he shipped me and I have injured my back. So just bear with me while I get, 
get this uh, running run, uh, box put up here. Um, but he literally shipped this FedEx in like two or three days uh, to get here from where he was. So, oh, uh, that, that's probably not the best way to lift stuff. Um, but I got this giant box without showing my address. Uh, so this is what it's got. And uh, I'm just gonna take this thing apart and build it. And uh, see what the heck it looks like finally. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, see if we can't get this box opened up. Uh, quite a large box. Let's see what we got. Now, he told me that there was some extra, he threw in a couple extra things in here um, that are for his one uh, 12th scale uh, diorama pieces that he's having a pretty large blowout sale on the website. So I wanted to make sure I mentioned that for you guys. I'll put a link for it down below as well. Uh, that he has the 112 scale ones. They, uh, for those who have not as much space, um, you know, as something large like this, this is probably the smaller pieces. True scale deluxe. This is the one I got. This is the 45 centimeter uh, version. So this is something, I don't know what. Uh, and then we've got a whole bunch of peanuts. Okay, so let's see here. I wasn't anticipating this much peanuts, so we're going to try and not make too big of a mess. Uh, we've got some plates here. We're going to need those, I think. And then we've got, oh, yes. So the actual right size um, sidewalls. Look at all this peanuts. They have the right size sidewalls, so that is awesome. Oh, goodness. Uh, and he packages stuff very well. If you guys caught my uh, unboxing video of... Uh, the uh, vulture and also I've got a, I've got other dioramas from him uh, and we've I'm just gonna make a giant mess so let's just get this oh goodness that's a that's a lot of that's a big mess all right so he sent over so many pieces I think this is gonna be for the um, the little greeblies and stuff that go on the walls so we're gonna need those those are quite heavy and he did say they kind of installed a little differently than the ones I already got. Uh, these are gonna be some side pieces. Some walls, columns, more columns. And what, did he send me like a whole brand new thing? I don't know what he sent me, holy cow. What is this? Oh, these are for the smaller walls, nice. Yeah, so he sent me over these as well. So I'm pretty excited to check those out. Those are gonna be for the smaller uh, six inch version, I believe. So we got uh, four of these. Yeah, cool, 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 cool. All right, got these. So much stuff that I'm gonna have to actually check the website on how the heck to put this thing together. So then we've got this section right here, which is a top piece. Uh, to one of them. I'm pretty sure this is for the smaller one Since I already have the larger piece like that and then we have up oh, look some base plates nice So we got a lot of stuff here All right guys, so I've got this thing put together. It took me about an hour or so To uh, to get it all together. So these are these are things that definitely gonna take you a little bit of time um, In addition to the time I spent on some other pieces in the in the past um, but uh, I got it together I threw uh, Vader in here for your guys' viewing pleasure, and uh, I'm quite happy with this. I am super happy I, I picked this up, and I'm even more happy uh, that Yost was able to uh, to help me out with this uh, predicament I was in. So uh, if I'm going to kind of zoom this thing out here a little bit, and you guys can kind of see the scale of this thing. Uh, it's quite large. This is the true scale version. So Yost typically makes, on the dioramas, he'll make a, uh, a six inch version. Uh, he'll sometimes offer the six inch versions, which are the ones he's uh, got on sale right now. If you want to check those out, link in the description. Uh, he'll do a Detoff version, one six scale, and then he does a true scale. So the Detoff versions are a little scaled down, so they'll fit in a Detoff. And then the true scales are actually just to scale, just like it sounds. Um, this is the true scale one. This is the true scale deluxe, uh, the 45 centimeter uh, piece. And um, you can see, like, this is definitely this will definitely not fit in a detoff it's it's way too big for that uh, but i do have a spot for it in the collection room so i'm pretty stoked for that and we'll hook it up on a smart plug and have it all lit up for most of the time 
Um, but you could definitely fit, uh, obviously, Vader in here. I've got a, he's got a little custom cape on him. Uh, you could fit uh, some troopers or, or uh, you know, Captain Antilles and, and those kind of things in here. And I think it would look pretty freaking sweet. So a couple of things to note. Uh, LEDs back there on the back panel. Uh, those are pretty nice touch. Dig those. And then all these little Greeblies uh, that he has included on for the side panels uh, that look pretty freaking sweet. Um, and all these little details and touches uh, just make this thing come to life, uh, including the light that's above. So that's an LED strip that's wrapped around a few times above that. And then there's an acrylic frosted, a frosted piece of acrylic uh, to diffuse that light, uh, which makes it look very, very good. And then of course you got the base plate down there uh, for uh, the floor, which is pretty cool. And you can actually change out that back panel and uh, make it look a little different. So I might show that in the in the other uh, collection room. I, I like this one. There's another uh, switch out plate, uh, I guess with more like an open door that has a hallway that looks, you know, you can see a little bit past that. I like this one because I think it makes Vader uh, stand out a little bit more in the display. Yeah.